<laughs> now let's move on to our regular poetry spot. We welcome back after about three years the John Betjeman of Newington Green, ladies and gentlemen, Luton's own John Hegley. <laughs> Um, thank you very much indeed. Really nice. Uh, very much. Very thanking. Yeah. OK. Um, <laughs> the first poem... Thanks a lot. Um, the first poem is uh, about Barrow in Furness. OK. <laughs> My fortune was told me in Barrow by someone called Old Madam Tarot. She said, danger is near. It was lucky to hear, cos I ducked and avoided an arrow. <laughs> but Old Madam Tarot wasn't quite so fortunate. <laughs> That's the best one. If you don't like that, you're in trouble, really. Um, <laughs> This next one is called uh, Bonfire Night, and it's uh, about um, a guy I saw uh, around that time. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> I would have paid them more, these kids, more I would have paid them than a penny, if they had paid more... Don't be stupid. <laughs> if these kids, I would have paid more attention to them, if they had paid more attention to period detail. They did have feet in the 16th century, you know. <laughs> they did. Right, this one's about Christmas, and it's called Christmas. <laughs> there came three wise men from the east, and so it came to pass. The wise men found the shepherds a bit working class. <laughs> right, we're going well. This one's about the Queen. The Queen wears glasses, but not on any of them Bank of England banknotes. <laughs> she wears many a gem, but not the sparkling jewels of her glasses. And sometimes she must wonder where they've gone, but we can help the Queen by taking pen to paper and carefully putting them on. <laughs> Can't we? <laughs> this is called Relaxing with Taxidermy. When their chihuahua got stuffed, <laughs> they were really chuffed. <laughs> no need to feed her or walkies on a lead her. <laughs> no more poop to scoop. <laughs> Doesn't she look smashing on the mantelpiece? And she'll always look at the camera now. I don't know why we bothered having her alive at all. <laughs> Not quite so good, that one. Um, <laughs> We move on now to the book. Um, Craig Gray, the poet, fellow poet, should I say, has a lovely image for the book. He talks of the book as being a many-winged bird that perches on the hand. A lovely image, so you can imagine the book. <laughs> and then perching on your hand. Obviously, if you're at the beginning of the book, you've got more wings on one side than the other. <laughs> Haven't you? Um, the first one is another dog poem. This is about uh, dogs and logs. <laughs> Both are very popular at Christmas, but it is not generally considered cruel to abandon a log. <laughs> and dogs are rarely used as fuel. <laughs> Good. Somebody over there enjoying this particularly. Some of these poems are for one person, and some of them are for two. Right, this one's called On the Isle of Man. It's about, um, I was on the on a oh, new bit of Martian poetry there. <laughs> I was, um... Thanks a lot, cheers. I was on the Isle of Man earlier on this year, and this is a poem about that, yeah? All right. <laughs> I remember that here it is bad to be gay, and not within the law, and I wonder if anyone's made jokes about entering Douglas before. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cheers, thank you. OK. Um, this one's called The Coliseum. It was difficult to see if you were sat at the back. It was more difficult if you needed the kind of spectacles which were yet to be invented. <laughs> OK, that's enough of the poetry, I think. Um, and now a song. This song is called Glad to Wear Glasses, Glad to Have Ears. They can call me softy, as ofty as they please, but still I'll stand... Sorry, I spat then. But still I'll stand by these, my little optical accessories. They stop me walking into lampposts and trees when it's foggy and I'm out walking with my doggy. Mm -hmm. My doggy don't wear glasses, so they're lying when they say a dog looks like its owner. 
Lenses, and can you wonder why? If you wanna put one in, you gotta poke yourself in the eye. And then they make you cry, especially when they get around the back of your eyeball. They're blinking horrible. Don't give them any space in your face. You gotta face up to your glasses. I've got a notion of a nation where green and grass is, where everybody's trying on everybody else's glasses. When nobody cares about the color of your skin, or the color of the case that your glasses are kept in. Goodbye, everybody. My name's John. What have I got? I got me glasses on. <laughs> Everyone, John. <laughs> um, excellent. Some of those. Um... Some of those poems come from Can I Come Down Now, Dad, which is uh, John Hegley's uh, latest book of poetry out. We have to move on, unfortunately.